Hello, it's Keith from KMH Corner. Welcome back to Keith Plays Minecraft, which is my single player world survival series. And as you see, I have added some doors to the golem farm. Because I'm all done with that villager breeder down there that was interfering with this. And I'm slowly taking it apart. But before I take it apart, I have to bring some villagers up here. So I have four pods in each level. There's two levels and each level is going to have I think 10 villagers to make this work optimally 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 yes so um, I'm going to show you how I get villagers up here and I, I know you have an idea but I'm still going to show you so let's whoa let's start playing with the F5 button let's go for a ride And as you see, I have added a new sky thing. Looks a little weird from up high. I don't, I'm not too sure I like that, but I'm going to keep the sky for now. But here we go. Uh, this will bring me to the villagers. Woohoo! I like rides. So there is a villager, and I am going to bring him up top and jump through his body. And uh, when I get him up top, I'll show you how I get him into the bins. So I'll be right back. All right, the villager is at the top of the track, the top part of the oh, golem farm. And I'm going to push him towards his pod. I have the track going all the way to the pod. Hey, guys, and they're breeding up here also, which is cool. Um, cool. Cool. And I already got one in this pod. And you see, I just made the track so he falls right into this little pod. And you're like, why are you jumping in? But you can put up a stair, um, a ladder. I have to take out that ladder or else this, um, the cart won't fall in here. And it's easier to have the cart fall in here instead of land on top. Because when you destroy the cart, sometimes a villager comes out and lands on that block right there, and that's no good. And that's no good if you're trying to push him in here. So once he's in here, um, I get make sure I get in a good location where I'm not going to hurt this guy. And there we go. You hit that. I come up here, get out of here. I throw them a couple of stacks of carrots, and they should start... Uh, sharing it right away right away no share please or are you just uh, distracted by me so um, I had the two villagers in there I destroy the ladder lose the ladder because I'm not gonna be able to get out of there without too much of a mess and I replace the glass and this half slab and we got villagers in the pod and they're still not trading I mean sharing their food hmm because it's cleric on cleric maybe clerics don't like clerics well he's happy so yeah these guys will breed and um, so I usually just put two in each one like that and um, move the track on to the next one so, but the problem is uh, with this setup right now is I don't have any setup for the golem catcher on below. So that's what I'm going to work on next because right now if a golem spawns, there is no blade down there and nothing to kill them. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit and I will be back. I have outlined the uh, dropper area for the golem. And I just wanted to show you how I set up the blade real quick. I get me some chests. These are the chests that um, I want the stuff to go into. And it's pretty simple. Everybody knows how to do this. And if you don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> um, I just put the four hoppers where the golem's going to land. Oops. Because... Um, when they fall from the farm, there's going to be this tube that's four wide. This is the only place they're going to land. 
and uh, we got to contain them in here so let me build up this uh, a little bit and golems are three high one thing good about um, glass is if you put glass over chests you can still open the chests so let me um, let me go get some lava real quick and we can add the lava blade now which is basically it's put lava there it's, I don't know if it's optifine or what but things seem to be moving a lot slower than normal and then you make sure that there's no skeletons around to shoot you into the lava actually it was probably a better idea to um, make the blade after you make the this tube because you don't want the chance of falling in because falling into lava is no fun but I'd fall right through and be underneath the lava anyways because uh, the lava is at head height 3 where it would affect the golems and not me so much so I am going to um, finish this tube well actually before I go I would like to state that um, the reason why I'm not doing an item sorter here is because it is just a small golem farm. It is not like an iron titan. An iron titan you might want to do an item sorter to get rid of uh, flowers from the iron. But this is going to be so... I mean it's going to be perfect for what I need it for. Um, but it's going to be so slow that um, I don't need the sorter. I'm probably going to be using the iron as much as quickly as it comes. So that is the blade. Um, I hear you coming. I hear you coming. I heard your little footsteps. Jerk. You're more of a nuisance than a killer. So let me make sure I got all the things filled in. It looks like I didn't miss any blocks. Um, yeah, so the blade is ready and set to go. So when the golems fall down here, their heads are going to be in the lava and it's just going to kill them. And their drops are going to go in there. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Just make sure that the hoppers are facing towards the chest and you'll be fine. So I'll be back in a bits let's kill some stuff all right so I have uh, put all the villagers into their pens got rid of the tracks they're all in all the places <laughs> all the lonely places um, these guys don't want to make a baby they kind of do well I don't know that librarian I think I whacked with my sword and usually when you whack a villager it takes about 20 minutes cooldown time uh, for them to want to breed those guys already made some and yeah so I have enough villagers up here now uh oh uh oh and let's see what has happened um, I just got done with this but while I was putting the villagers in there I've heard that sound you know that sound that sound of gullum burning so I know there's gullum stuff in here but I don't know how much there is just yet we'll see I'll take that I'll take that for just the time it took to get those villagers in there um, because obviously I started with only a couple of villagers so it really hasn't had time to warm up and I just put those guys in those last guys that haven't bred yet um, and three four minutes ago so that's good um, so the next thing I'm gonna do now that that is working is get rid of that brick remind me to get rid of that brick and um, I am gonna now start bringing the villagers from the two breeders into this area this is gonna be a long-term project it's not gonna be um, something I'm gonna do in this episode and I'm going to start trading with them um, with uh, drop spawn K 
killer thing that I have. I have plenty of stuff to trade with. And with that huge ass exceptional farm that has no use whatsoever, I'm gonna have tons of food to trade with. As a matter of fact, each time I put two villagers into one of those holding pens, I put in two stacks of carrots. So that is what eight, oh, there goes a golem. I saw you falling. Yeah, so there you go. Dying golem. But there's that sound. It's like hitting a 50 gallon drum that's empty. Truly really bad. Um, so I've given 16 stacks of carrots making this. And I still have all these <laughs> carrots. But compared to that, you see that I have used a shit ton of carrots. Um, so I'm going to have to do some carrots. And also with the 1.9 update, I don't know if I'm going to keep this world, depends on how corrupted it is. I'm going to switch over this to the beats. Um, because, you know, how much netherwork do you really use? And that's enough for a server right there. So, uh, that's what's going to happen with those beats. But I'm not going to switch over to 1.9. I may not even keep this world when I switch over to 1.9. The series might be done. I don't know that time will come um, one real quick thing I wanted to show you before I started bringing villagers over to um, I didn't really tell you what I was gonna do here I'm gonna build some sort of housing development where I or a shopping mall and I'm gonna have a village for each type of uh, book that you want so if I needed an unbreaking book or put unbreaking on my feather falling shoes I can just go to a village area here's a book and here's 15 gems and yeah yeah so I can put unbreaking fortune 3 is always great looting I don't think I have a looting sharpness um, and also one thing I did I made this look a little bit better and I've been thinking about what I should do to hide this. Well, you can't really hide that. Oh. Um, and two things I've come up with. And I guess I should go up in the air for this. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I was thinking, I think it's, I don't really, f I do follow him, but I don't know if I got the name right. I should have looked it up before I said this, because I don't, he's not somebody I really, really follow, but he's on Hermitcraft, and Tinfoil Chef, he's the guy who made the green eyeball thing with all the moss hanging off at um, Hermitcraft, or Hermit Hills. And I was thinking of making a something here, a ball, an eyeball maybe. Uh, and then I was thinking of the, the floaty island type thing. And I was kind of thinking that this might have been a little too low to the ground for a big floaty island. But tell me what you think. Should I make this into a big floaty island? You know? Um, or should I make this into some sort of ball? And I'm going to, either way, I'm going to be getting rid of these ladders and stick in a portal in there so I can just jump into a portal then jump in again and be in the island so it's gonna be floating other than this glass so that's the future and that is even the future there so I'm gonna start working a little bit with the villagers and probably do a crop on the farm so I can trade and if anything good happens I'll let you know all right, I uh, made a track to go this way. You see a little building there, not a pretty building, but a building. And I push the villagers right here. And I trade with them and do s different stuff with them. Uh, I've been unlocking all sorts of um, trades and I'm keeping villagers of the trades that I really want. I'm trying to find the perfect villager for every single um, item that you can trade with. And I've been just keeping villagers that um, I can trade and when I get a better one for that particular product I upgrade so so far I've only traded with uh, like six or seven villagers this guy he gets a perfection protection one diamond chest for 19 I'm gonna uh, get that to moved up to a protection two because I think these guys sell those and for probably I don't know that price isn't too bad 
But at least with Protection 1, I can combine them and make a Protection 4 eventually. Feather Fallen 2, same thing. Nice price for it. But, um, you know, that is going to be an upgrade there. <laughs> Saddle, I just kept them just in case because I don't know how I'm going to set this um, thing up yet and exactly what, but, you know, it's always good to have a saddle, you know, a way to buy a saddle, and that's the cheapest you can get to um, get saddles. So I said, yeah, I might as well keep this guy, even though he's pretty useless. That's right. Um, <laughs> sorry. And this guy, he's a pretty much perfect cleric. The only thing that's wrong with him is his first trade is 38, zombie flesh. You can get as low as 36. Um, but everything else, the redstone, one emerald for four, the lapis, one for two, the ender eye, um, seven emeralds for the ender eye, one emerald for four, three glowstone, and I forgot to add it on here, I think it's two, but anyways, to go through here, he's two off from the perfect trade there. He's two off from the perfect trade here because I think he can get eight gold for one emerald. But that's a perfect trade. That's a perfect trade. That's a perfect trade. That's a perfect trade. And that's a perfect trade. You can't get any better than those last, what, four or five. So this guy is a keeper. He's probably going to stick around until I end this world. So I should name you the master, the master cleric. But, um, so it's going to be a little while. It it's probably takes five minutes to train these guys or unlock all the things but what I'm gonna do is temporarily house them like this probably all the way back here and then I'm gonna build a thing on this side also where so it's gonna be double sided and when I got all the villagers that I really want and I want to set up my store I'm gonna rearrange them into different store locations and so I know if I need armor I can go over there, if I need weapons go over there, if I need to sell stuff over there, and so forth and so forth. So this is going in a good way. I'm kind of happy about it, but um, next episode on here I am gonna be doing some more trading, um, getting some more stuff done, and um, Maybe start another project. What it might be, I don't know. I like to have two projects going. I'm not ready to build anything to cover that up yet because I have no blocks. <laughs> so maybe my project will be... Mining! No, I doubt that. But anyways, thank you for watching me. Um, I'm going to check how much iron I've gotten if it's been going up steadily. Thank you for watching this episode of me completing or re-completing the iron farm. Hey, Mr. Creeper, where's my sword? Um, yes, yeah, so we're almost up to a stack of iron. But yeah, this is it. Have a good day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner. Enjoy my sky. Enjoy. Enjoy.